What exactly is the difference between anxiety and worry? Uh, this is a question that a lot of people have. You might be even wondering, okay, do I have anxiety or is it just simply worry? So I wanted to just talk about this topic for a moment or two, uh, just to help clear up some things for you, because you're probably wondering, uh, maybe, maybe this, it is worry and there's nothing to worry about, <laughs> or maybe it's something more. Maybe it is anxiety. Maybe I need to do something about it. Uh, go talk to a therapist or do something uh, different to help with that uh, if it is anxiety. So really, uh, it comes down to, the differences come down to intensity and length for the most part. I mean, there are a lot of other things that, um, that go into deciding whether it's anxiety or is it worry, uh, but for the most part, in a, in, a more, in a more generalized terms, it's duration and intensity. How long has this been going on? Have you had these feelings? Uh, th does the worry tend to affect you physically? Uh, a lot of times that's an indicator that it's not worry, that it's more anxiety. Uh, for instance, if you have an upset stomach, or if you can't eat, if you can't sleep, it affects you, maybe your heart races, your mind races, you get sweaty. Uh, that could be a number of things, but it could also be panic. Uh, so it's, if, if, if your worry tends to go on more than, oh, more of a temporary, if, let's say it's days, and the intensity is really high, then it might be anxiety. On the other hand, worry is more temporary. It will go away. You're worried about a test that's coming up. You're worried about paying the bills. Uh, but when those things come and they go, that worry goes too. And so those are the biggest differences, the intensity and the duration, how long it happens, how long you deal with it, and how high or how bad it really is. So is it anxiety or is it worry? Are you struggling with something that's lasting maybe for days or months or years and it just doesn't seem to go away? Maybe you wake up in the morning and it's just there. You don't know why. You're, you're confused. Why do I feel this way? It's, I feel it in my stomach. I feel it in my head. I feel it everywhere. Uh, it, it, it keeps me from doing things. Very likely that it's anxiety. But if it's just temporary, something that you're worried about is coming up and I and I'm, uh, don't know what's going to happen, but it, that event comes and goes and your worry goes, then there, there's your answer, right? So that's a very basic difference between the two. Uh, there are a lot of other things that go on uh, or that are involved in the diagnosis of anxiety, but that's really the main gist. You're really wanting to know do I have this or does a family member or does a friend have this? What is the difference? Do they have, if it's just simply worry or is it something more intense, something that's going to last longer like anxiety? And if it is anxiety, it's going to probably affect you in many other ways. And so uh, I would love for you, if, it, if you feel like you do have anxiety, uh, I want you to go see a therapist. You got to go talk to a therapist. Uh, at the very least, check out some of my other videos on anxiety that I think would be very helpful for you. Uh, again, how do you know this? How do you decide whether or not you see a therapist or not? That, that's a whole other question for a different video. Uh, but really work on and think through if, 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 to yourself, do I have anxiety or is it worry? If it's worry, then you, you know it's going to come and it's going to go. But if it's anxiety, there are specific things that you can do to work on that. Well, that's all for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, take care of yourself.